Mr. McDonald. For the questions below, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Hello, Mr. McDonald. I understand you're here to have a lump removed from your back and the plan is to send you home later today. Yes, that's right. The lump really needs to come off. It's more than a little annoying and can be quite painful too. It's right near my waist and gets in the way of the waistband of my trousers. I'm not particularly worried about the surgery. They explained everything to me very clearly when I was in the assessment clinic. But I'm concerned about how I'm going later when I'm recovering. Did they tell you I have Parkinson's disease? Yeah, it's here in your notes from the clinic, but it doesn't say how long you've had it or anything about how it affects you. Oh, I've had it for a few years now. Five, I think. The walking is the worst. It's difficult to start moving and I'm so slow. Mm. All I can do is shuffle to start with and then my steps get shorter and shorter and I get faster and faster. Sometimes I even fall over. Mm. Do you have any other physical problems? I sometimes get the freezing thing that happens, you know, where you're stuck in one spot. Akinasia? Yes, maybe. You'd know better than me anyway. It'll come on to me when I least expect it, and it's always at the worst possible moment. I worked out that if I try to do more than one thing at once, it almost always brings it on. I also get this terrible shake in my hands. It's hard to do some things sometimes because my arms are so stiff. Mm. What activities are most difficult for you? It sounds ridiculous, but it's mainly things like turning over in bed, reaching for a glass of water, getting up out of the chair and trying to turn around once I'm standing. Mm -hmm. I've learned a few tricks to help though, like having a good firm mattress and a high back chair with arms. Well, that's good. What about activities that need fine movements? How do you manage with those? Well, tying my shoelaces is a real problem, and buttons. Doing up and undoing those things is almost impossible. I like that material that sticks to itself. It's very handy. What's it called again? Velcro? That's it. Also, my handwriting is terrible. I've basically given up on it. Mm. It really sounds like you might benefit from seeing an occupational therapist. Yes, maybe. I'll have to speak to my GP about a referral. One of the other major problems I've had in the last 12 months has been the cramps I get at night. They really ruin my sleep. I understand your medication has been changed recently. Yes, that's right. I said to the doctor that the cramps had gone on far too long, so she said I should try some different tablets. I've only been taking them for a month or so. I think they've already reduced the cramps. Listening part A. You hear a doctor talking to Chloe, an outpatient in the psychiatric unit. For questions 1 to 12, complete the notes with a word or short phrase. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. Uh, hello Chloe, I understand you've been in the medical ward recently. How are you feeling now? Oh, much better, thank you, Doctor. What exactly was the trouble? Well, it all started about six months ago when I went to my local GP and he gave me some Valium. As soon as I started taking it, I began feeling terribly anxious. Then, one afternoon, I didn't dare cross the road because my legs suddenly felt too heavy to walk. A couple of months later, I started getting these dizzy spells. That was probably about four months ago now. Mm -hmm. That had lasted about an hour. I left hospital three weeks ago 
and since then I haven't had any problems. Okay, good. Can you tell me anything else about that day in the street? Anything else about your symptoms? Well, I felt like I was going to fall over, like I was all shifty, as if I was moving even though I was standing still. Everything around me was normal, but I felt all trembly and quite unsteady on my feet. Mm. It didn't last very long, but like I told you earlier, I didn't feel like I could walk properly. My legs were heavy and I had these palpitations. I guess it was like a panic attack or something. Whenever it happened, it felt like my heart started banging in my chest and I got all breathless. I went to see my GP, then he sent me here. Right. Um, you mentioned your legs felt heavy? Not only my legs, my arms too. Whenever it's happened, it felt like I couldn't lift anything. I've had like this tingling sensation too. It usually happened later in the day. In the evening, when I was coming home from work or from doing the shopping, something like that. I've been very busy with working and cooking and doing all the other household chores. I guess I've been feeling a lot of stress. Do you have any other health complaints? Yes, I have arthritis in my hands. I've been told it's in the early stages and that it's only going to get worse as I get older. When the pain's bad, like it has been recently, it makes it so difficult to do things. What about your personal situation? Are you married? I am, yes. Almost two years now. We don't have any children yet, though. When my husband and I first got married, we talked about starting a family. We have tried, but nothing's happened. We saw someone recently, a gynecologist, a couple of times, about trying to fall pregnant. She told me to continue with the temperature chart, and she talked about timing for intercourse, things like that. My husband also had a test, and we're going to go back in a month or so to get the results and see if there's anything else we should be doing. Would you say you and your husband have a good relationship? Uh, I think so, yes. We have our little tiffs sometimes, but what couple doesn't? What sort of things do you fight about? Oh, uh, I don't know. Silly things? Like how clean the house is. My husband's a bit of a neat freak, and sometimes I just haven't got the energy or the time to do it, and my hands hurt. And anyway, it's his house as much as it is mine, so it's his responsibility too. Well, you're right there. Now, Chloe, I'm going to write your prescription for some Ativan. It'll help with any anxiety that you might have been experiencing, and I'd like you to come back and see me again in two weeks. Okay. Thank you, Doctor.